click on the subscribe button and remember to press the bell icon for regular notifications from our digital blogger hello friends welcome to our digital blogger today we're going to review Zerora sentinel this is an alerts and notifications tool by this discount broker in this detailed video review we will talk about multiple aspects of this alerts tool we'll talk about positives and negatives we'll also take a demo of this application we'll look at the pricing as well let's get started So to start with the basics, Zero Sentinel is an alerts and notification tool. Now by the look of it, it might look a very generic sort of an alert tool that is generally integrated within a trading platform. Now this is a little different one. Basically the difference is the point that even if you are not using the system, even if you are not trading on a trading platform, this tool has the capacity to notify you on the alerts and notifications set by you based on different triggers. Talking about triggers, there are at least 15 predefined triggers that you can use. There are actually more than that. We'll have a look once we do a demo of this application. Whatever notifications are given, they are given in the form of an email or web notifications through the browser, whatever browser you are using. This browser notifications are connected or rather integrated with Zerula Kite Web, the trading platform of Zerula. It can be used across equity, commodity, currency, derivatives, different type of trading segments and products for you. So that's the basic overview of this tool from Zeruda. Now, if we talk about different variants, there are different pricing models, different pros and cons of using different kind of versions of it. There is a free version that comes with 30 triggers. It has only one data point. That data point is last traded price only. Now this data point can be used if you don't really want to buy any version of the store. Then there is Sentinel Plus that comes with around 100 triggers and it has around 40 data points for the users who subscribe for this. Then there is a pro version of this tool that basically comes with 200 triggers, 40 plus data points. There are advanced triggers that allow you to integrate with different permutations and combinations of uh, data points different triggers can be used in uh, combination with each other so that is the way the tool the whole product rather is segregated by the uh, discount broker now it really depends on your uh, sort of expectations how do you actually trade what level of trader you are and based on that you can pick any of these variants if you talk about pricing though the pricing is right in front of you if you go with the free version obviously there's no pricing there but then there are three slabs under one month, six months and 12 months. The whole pricing is based on a monthly level. If you go with the plus plan, you go for 50 rupees for one month. If you buy the uh, six month subscription, you have to pay 45 rupees uh, per month and 40 rupees for 12 months. Similarly, the pricing can be seen for pro version as well. So again, comes back again to the point on what kind of trader you are, what kind of expectations you have and what kind of trading style do you have based on that you can make a choice now let's do a small demo of Zerora Sentinel and see how it actually works in real time basis so this is the login screen of uh, Zerora Sentinel um, you just need to click on login once you do that you have the option of login in with your Zerora credentials if you're the client of Zerora if you're not then you can log in with Google or you can also do it uh, through Facebook as well for this example we'll go ahead with login with Google so this is the way uh, the create trigger screen looks like. Now under this you have a couple of options of creating a trigger. Let's go ahead with option one. So if you want to monitor a specific stock, if a specific script against different kinds of notifications. Now these different kinds are last traded price, high price, low price. Now in this example we're going to take LTP, last traded price. The uh, stock could be anything. Let's take ICICI Bank. We want to see if it is greater than, let's say the value is 1020 rupees, it could be any it's in the random number and I see 2, just put in there as a trigger name. So that's the way uh, you need to put in the values uh, if you're using the 
option one kind of trigger once you do that you click on create and the my under my triggers I see two this trigger is available right in front of you you have the option to pause this trigger edit this trigger or delete this trigger under this tab now the option two is that if you want to monitor two different stocks right in connection with each other and based on that you want to make a trade that can also be done we'll go ahead with a similar example we'll check uh, the last trade price of ICICI bank and we'll say it is greater than we have to pick the value of stock here instead of value once you do that you need to say again the last traded price and which stock you want to compare this stock of ICICI let's say from the similar industry uh, we're going to take HDFC bank now this trigger says what when the last traded price of ICICI becomes greater, greater than the LTP of HDFC bank notify me so that's the way you're giving sort of a command to the trigger that this is where you need to notify me when this condition fulfills you just put in the trigger name click on create and it will be put in under my triggers so that's the way you need to create different triggers primarily it is useful for people who generally do not spend a lot of time in trading they trade generally on delivery basis probably a few days few days a week and they are not in front of their computer or laptop or trading platforms most of the times so these this tool which notifies you even when you are not logged in and this is kind of the USP you really want uh, from such tools now within this application you can check out advanced triggers if you are a pro user you can check out the history if there have been any sort of alerts or notifications sent to you those will be displayed here and you can see your account you can see pricing and you can have obviously log out of this application so that's the sort of a basic demo and the application itself is in the beta version for now and probably by time they're going to add new features but again like we mentioned earlier this kind of a tool is useful primarily for a specific set of users only now let's discuss the positives and negatives of Citadel Sentinel let's start with the positives first now if you are a pro user in that particular sense you can actually go ahead and use advanced alerts as well within advanced alerts you can come up with different permutations and combinations and combine multiple triggers and use them together once you do that you can actually make uh, you know a lot of profit obviously but at the same time it creates a very detailed out sort of analysis too web and email notifications you're gonna get that's the positive again it works across multiple trading segments there is a demo login available even if you are not a client of Zeroda that is a free version is there also it works when you are not logged in into the trading application so basically it works even if you are sleeping it is regularly updated the point comes from the from the from the basis that since this is a new tool and you can expect regular updates coming in with new features too some of the concerns you need to be aware of there are no technical indicators based data points available so if you're an expert level trader you probably gonna hit a wall very soon SMS notifications that particular communication channel has not been used yet you can only check email notifications and web app notifications only historic analysis is not available there are no data points triggering that kind of provision as of now it is not provided by Zerula Sentinel order placement you cannot do it directly even if the alert or notification meets through you have to manually place your order automated trading is something that probably gonna come later in time mobile app integration is not done it's only integrated with the Zerula Kite web based trading platform so these are different positives and negatives and this is the overall sort of a demo review of Zero Sentinel. Tell us how you feel about it if you have actually used it in the comment section below. If you want to read out the whole thing you can check out erdigitalblogger.com slash trading platform slash Zero Sentinel. We have got a detailed review out there. You can also check out erdigitalblogger.com slash free stock broker suggestion if you want us to recommend a stock broker that matches exactly with your requirements. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching it. We hope you liked it. In case you did, please go ahead and press the thumbs icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel, A Digital Blogger. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.
Here we go. 